Hello, uh, the 2015 hair, show hair for the show Jackpot is what we're about to be doing today. And the first few things that you're going to need is hairspray, a comb, and little elastic bands. Now you can get these in clear, uh, in black, or in multicolored. If you have lighter toned hair color, use the clear ones. If you have darker toned hair color, use the black ones. Or the clear ones, if you can't find the black ones. Um, just personal preference. You're also going to need bobby pins and possibly hair ties, depending on what you want to do. And your hair show piece. So, first off, you're going to need to start with curled hair. Now, personally, um, I curled my mom's hair using hot curlers. Yes, yeah, old fashioned, I know. Um, you don't want to use a really small barrel because that'll make the hair uh, curl really tightly and it doesn't look as nice. Uh, or a really large barrel, like anything bigger than an inch because um, the curls won't be tight enough to actually hold and it'll just look more like a wave than a curl. So, um, you can curl the rest of your hair however you really want it. It doesn't really matter. There's no rhyme or reason the direction you curl it. But the part that you do need to curl a specific way is the top bang part. And um, you'll want to take it and curl it over on itself. So, so it's curling upwards. Oh, this is my mom, by the way. So let's take out this last little curl. Curler. So that way, it curls back on us. So. That will help you with your bump. Got a random bobby pin in there. All right. So the first thing you're going to want to do is start off with your bump. You're going to take the very crown of your head, and you're going to take it about uh, the arches of your eyebrows up and back to about halfway through your head because you don't want to take it back too far because your headband does sit there. So once you get that section off, you're going to want to pull that forward. And what I like to do is I just like to secure the rest of the hair so that it doesn't get mixed up. You can do this with clips or hair ties. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you want to do. Just make sure you don't get this hair with this hair. All right. Now here, for those of you who have never back combed before, um, basically, obviously, like, how you regularly brush your hair, you brush it from the root to tip. Well, when you back comb it, you brush it from the tip to the root. And what that does is it, you know, builds up the hair so when it lays back, it has a foundation to stand on. So you're gonna take a small section about like eh, half an inch, quarter of an inch, and you're going to just start that coming. And you're gonna to wanna to use the thinner end of your comb. Or they have um, specific combs made for your back comb. Or teasing, however you call it. Whatever you call it. You're gonna wanna make sure you start at the base of your head. Slowly work up. And then tease the other side the same way. Uncap your hairspray. Spray a little bit on. And just pull it back. Take another little section. Separate it. And do the exact same thing. Now, make sure you leave a little bit at the front that 
won't be cheese that will lay on top so you don't see um, the readiness of the cheese itself. Now, personally, I think this is easier to do on myself than it is on other people, but it's everybody's preferences. And it is going to look messy at first. That's normal. Now once you get to the last section, you're going to have, you're just going to want to tease the back just a little bit. Just so you don't lose the bump in the front. Now that you have it all together, you're going to want to smooth out the top just a little bit and just lightly run your comb over the top. If you press your comb in too far, then it will take out the teeth that you just made and it will be for later. Face. <laughs> this hair's nice. This hair's really good. Okay, you 